Hey y'all, it's Sam here from Samuel Please Brass, and I hope you're all doing well. It is currently Memorial Day at the time of recording, and around 2.30 p.m. to be exact. For those of you who might not know, at 3 p.m. it is customary to sound off the call of taps, in memoriam of those who have laid their lives down in service for us to be able to have this day to celebrate today. So, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a quick trip down to the campus parking garage, where I will sound the call with as much respect and reverence as possible. Before we head down, I'd like to introduce today's rather unconventional bugle. This is a horn made and owned by Brent Peters of Pudgy Trumpets, and it is his custom Mod 4 model. There are not a ton of four-valve pudgies out there, and Brent has been kind enough to let me borrow this horn. I've used it in several instances where a trumpet, cornet, or flugelhorn sound was desired, and I've liked all of the ways it performs so far with different mouthpieces, so we're going to see if it does well as a bugle today. I'll also be using Brent's Deep V mouthpiece design in my preferred inner diameter. Quite a deep cut there, and I think it'll give it a little bit more of the traditional bugle sound, if you will. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Here with 10 minutes to spare. Uh, I forgot it doesn't exactly take a half an hour to drive here, but in any case, we're just gonna get set up. Um, no warm up, should be good. The last time I was up here on the roof access, I threw a bugle off the roof, right over there actually. We're here for a little bit of a nobler cause this time, I suppose. Pretty warm day up, so I'll put it out to about there. Should be good, right? I mean, this is a deep mouthpiece. We'll see. We'll see if it was a lucky guess or not. Sometimes my absolute pitch actually makes it harder for me to slot notes if my horn isn't totally in tune right from the get-go. So I have to factor in that it's my first note of the day, but also that it's hot outside, but also that it's a deeper cup. It's, yeah, the whole nine yards. Anyway, now we just wait for the chapel bells to sound three o'clock and then we do our thing, uh, hopefully with great reverence. I'm not trying to mess this up. That big air unit over there just stopped huffing quite as hard. I hope it can stay silent for another three or four minutes until I'm done with this. That'd be greatly preferable. That's it. I almost forgot to start recording. Uh, it's also a minute early. We're just gonna roll with it. It's fine after the, after the bells are done.
I'd like to take a moment to express my gratitude and appreciation not only for those who have laid their lives down in service of our country, but also those most affected by their losses, these fearless fighters, families, friends, and so on. Thank you for your sacrifice. It is an honor to partake in this tradition, and I look forward to doing so again next year. Until next time, much sooner than that, of course, I will see you all on the flip side.